What's up guys? Let's do one more quick Windows 11 video tonight. So I just finished installing the Windows 11 developer channel insider preview build whatever on my desktop that I'm filming this on right now. But I also just finished installing the same thing on my Surface Pro 7. This is the Core i5 model. And I want to tell you a little bit about how that's working so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to an overhead camera and I'm just going to kind of show you how this is working. I thought about um, actually capturing display output with it and that would actually look better. But I can't show you gestures as well so you can't really see what I'm doing. So instead of doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a overhead camera view like this and hopefully this is satisfactory to you guys. So this is Windows 11 running on my Surface Pro 7 Core i5 and if you've noticed the keyboard is not attached and that is intentional because for years and years and years if you use a Surface device like this you needed the keyboard attached to it because it just didn't work that well without it. The keyboard wasn't very good, the gestures and so forth weren't very good either but Microsoft is saying hey you're, you're not going to need your keyboard anymore on your Surface Pro 7 if you don't want to use it with the keyboard. If you want to have a tablet you you can just have it as a tablet now. So let's explore exactly what they mean. Let's, let's look at some of these gestures. And some of these gestures are not necessarily new, but I'm going to show them and talk about them anyway. So if I show you something like swiping from that side to bring out um, your calendar and your notifications, I don't, you know, don't comment that that's not new. I know that that's not new. We're just going to run through them all anyways. So there you go. Swiping from the right side, that's going to bring up your calendar and your notifications. Of course, you can swipe individual things away as well and that works fine. Swiping in from the left side will bring out your widget view and as I've talked about in my other video the widgets look really nice and they work you know relatively well. My biggest problem with them is that they open up in Edge and I'm not currently using Edge so I'm not using the widget panel. Let's go ahead and open up my web browser though. And one of the things you can do, one of the things that they talked about, is how the gesture navigation is basically just exactly what you have on your trackpad. So a three finger swipe down will bring you to your desktop. A three finger swipe back up will pull that application back open. If you have multiple apps open, a three finger swipe left and right will switch your open app. Now I wish that they had a smoother animation to like show them shifting like that, um, but whatever, it still works just fine. And if your app's already open, a three finger swipe up will bring up your multitasking view. And that works really, really well. Let's talk about the keyboard though. So you have two options here. So you have the full keyboard. And as you can see, the, the, uh, the objects behind the keyboard are actually informing what the keyboard looks like. It's got that slight glass look to it as well. So you can see some of the colors behind the keyboard which is really really good but if you don't like typing this way you can simply hit this button on the side and now you have a a sort of thumb or finger swiping keyboard also you have options like gifs or gifs if you say it that way you've got emojis on the side you've got text emojis over here there's a lot of stuff going on here this is a proper mobile keyboard at this point and of course, if you want to do the handwriting thing, the Surface Pen is uh, still an option as well. But here's my favorite thing. That right there, voice typing built in to the keyboard. Now let's just see how well it works. I'm just going to click on that box up there and I'm just going to start saying words and just see what it's able to pick up and how quickly it can actually keep up. And it nailed every single word that I just said absolutely perfectly. And there's an option here to enable auto punctuation as well, which I don't, I think I'm actually going to turn off because I'm not used to using that on my Android devices. So there you go. Look, it's running really, really well. The performance is good. The animations are, you know, as smooth as I could expect them to be. I can show you here on a better camera. Everything's working pretty damn snappy. You know, no matter what I'm doing, it is just working nice and smooth. The gestures are working really, really well as well. I'm pretty pleased with this. Once Android apps arrive on Windows 11 and on this device, my Surface Pro 7 will become my primary laptop. Once again, it will take that spot back from my Tab S7 with all certainty.
Really, really good stuff. Windows 11 is really good on a desktop. It is freaking awesome on a Surface Pro device. So guys, thanks for making it to the very end of this video because that does help me out a ton. Stay tuned for more coverage of Windows 11, Surface Duo, Surface Pro, all of these things right here on this channel. Hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any of that. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.